Okay, I'm up in the greenhouse now. Uh, it's pretty much cleared out for winter. Um, got all my hanging baskets and the ropes that the, I had tomatoes climbing are all down. Um, put some compost and some manure and emptied some potting plants into the beds. Kind of worked that one over. Uh, nothing growing in there now. This one here, I had a bunch of onions, little onions, and over here garlic that were growing in the garden that I missed that started sprouting so I just planted them in here watered them in and they'll grow all winter long in here I think um, everything else just a lot of empty pots and and everything um, these are some rhubarb plants that I had outside that I brought in and I'm gonna try to force those to start them early have early rhubarb um, this here it's a contraption that a friend of mine made for brooding his baby chicks in. And what it is, it's got plexiglass front, which is kind of dirty right now. And it's got uh, two light fixtures in it that you can put light bulbs in and put it on a thermostat. And it'll hold the temperature in there what you want. And I found it was just the perfect size to fit three of these planting trays. So i got to clean it up a little bit and uh, put some soil in here. And I'm going to start some lettuce and spinach and stuff like that and see what I can grow all winter long in a greenhouse. Uh, there's a little thermometer here. It's about uh, low 40s outside right now and it's uh, the sun isn't really up, it's pretty foggy today. Uh, but it's still, you know, 52 degrees in here. So, um, a lot of condensation outside. So after these plants here are started, what I'm going to do now is I got a bunch of uh, trays. I'm going to put some three-inch pots in them, fill them with soil, so I can transplant them. And then uh, when it gets closer to spring, I can put those little plants into these bigger pots and grow them. So I've been sifting some compost and some manure out here. Fill some of these pots. And so be a lot of a lot of nutrients in that soil. I, I didn't really want to use the expensive potting soil. This is just kind of experiment, and this is probably a lot more uh, nutrients in it than a potting soil does anyway. So. A little straw in there yet that didn't break down. It's not going to hurt nothing. So I'll fill all these pots. And then I'll go back. I want to get a bunch of this made up so I can uh, get ready for spring. Have it all in the greenhouse. Thaw it out for spring. Otherwise, everything will be frozen out here. But this here is some compost from municipal compost uh, in town I put here in early summer and it finished breaking down and you can see there ain't much to it now it's all broken down a couple little chunks of uh, sticks and such in there and here's some of that horse manure that I brought up from the garden so I'm just kind of mixing it 50-50 and then it's pretty green And then if I find chunks of wood, throw that in a burn barrel. Anything that isn't broken down enough yet, I just slip back into the compost pile. So anything in here is small enough that it'll it'll finish breaking down a little bit more in the pots, and what's too big will be fine. But there ain't nothing wrong with that for for free, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch of these trays ready and, and then uh, mix a whole bunch of it up and put in some of my, uh, I got some more blue tubs like that. I'm going to fill it up with the potting soil and put it in the greenhouse so it's ready to work right away in the spring. So that's it for now. Talk to you guys later.